the web's been talking about is Gem. Hi everybody, it's Gem Holographic here, and today is a very special video because it's going to be the first review video that I have. And it's also very special because I am going to be demoing this MAC palette it is the Enchanted Eyes Mauve palette. I got this for Christmas and in this video I'm going to show you how I did this look today and I'm also going to be giving you my thoughts on this palette. So stay tuned at the end of the video for that. Alright, so to start this look we are using the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Cosmic. And we're going to put this all over our eyes like from our eyelid to our brow bone, and, we're, and I'm gonna blend mine out using my ring finger, but you can use a brush if you want to. I just prefer using my ring finger. So yeah, just, we're just gonna use this as the base for our first eyeshadow, which is going to be the base for all of the look. And yeah. Alright, and now I'm just going to blend it out using my ring finger. You just want to make sure that the edges are blurred and not harsh. Right, now to set that, we're going to go into the Enchanted Eyes palette by MAC, and the first eyeshadow is up here and it's called Lightfully. It's like a iridescent white, kind of pinky shade, and we're just going to apply that all over where we applied the Urban Decay pencil. For best results with this eyeshadow, I recommend patting instead of swiping the eyeshadow on. That way you'll get a more full color coverage with this. And you just want to further blend out those edges. To apply this eyeshadow, you could also use a fluffy brush. A cheap one would be the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Alright, next we're gonna go... Alright, next we're gonna go into the darkest shade in the palette, which is at the bottom here, and it's called Magic More. And I'm gonna take a Sony Kashuk pencil brush, and I'm just going to dip it into the eyeshadow just a little bit because it's a very pigmented eyeshadow. And for this, we're going to build our cut crease. And the way you start a cut crease is you have to feel around for your socket bone. And mine's right, starts right here. So that's where my beginning is. And I'm doing this with my eyebrows down and my eyes open. And I'm just gonna follow that line. Where my socket bone is and once I get to like right there, I'm gonna wing it out. Like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, now once you have those lines on there. You're gonna want to go ahead and blend out the tops of them, but make sure that on the bottom you leave a pretty harsh line. Now that I'm done with blending, I'm going to take another paddle brush and I'm just going to define that line on the bottom with more of the Magic More eyeshadow. All right, so if you mess up like I did right here, you can just go back with that Urban Decay pencil. You can just go back with the Urban Decay pencil and just fix the line. You 
you can just draw right over it. And then you can go back and you can add more of the light fully eyeshadow over that and that will help blend it out. And I'm just going to blend out this side a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to go in with another pencil brush. This one's kind of fucked up. But we're going to go into this third shade in the palette, which is Swing Out. It's this light purple one right there. And we're going to apply this on top of the dark line, but not going all the way up to our brow bone. This is just going to help blend out the entire thing. And so I'm just going to start right here and just pat that on. This color doesn't really show up very well, um, but that's a good thing because its purpose is going to be for blending out this darker shade. And in that purpose, it does very well. All right, so once you have that down, I'm gonna take this little blending brush. Now, if you have a blending brush, I have one, but it's dirty. But if you have a blending brush, use that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to blend out the shadows and perfect that line just a little bit more. All right, once you have that all blended, I'm just gonna go back in with the paddle brush and I'm not adding any more product of the Magic More eyeshadow on it. I am just going and I am darkening up that line on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush and just blend that in. All right, going back to that same brush that we used for the white shade, we're gonna go back into light fully. And we're just gonna put this underneath the high point of our brows to create our brow bone highlight. And you just wanna lightly pat this on. And then going back with that blending brush, we're just going to blend that out. All right. Moving on to eyeliner. All right, so I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Liquid Eyeliner Pen in black. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this eye, and then I'll do the other one off camera. So basically, any rule of thumb with creating a wing is that you want to do it on the edge of your eyebrow. But for this look, I'm going to do it to the edge of this. So you're just going to start by drawing a line from your outer corner up. And you want to leave a little space so that you can see the um, eyelid color. And then I'm just going straight down and going into my inner corner. I'm connecting the line and then I'm just going to fill it in. We're going to do a little wing in the inner corner. And this will just help to make our eyes look sweeped up. For the waterline, I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to put this all over my waterline and even into the inner corner. The paddle brush that we used for Magic More eyeshadow right here. And we're just going to start putting this on the lower lash line and we're also going to blend out the edge of that wing. Alright, now just to blend that out we're going to use the same blending brush. Do the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then I'll see you guys when I get to 
mascara and lips. And I already did my brows too, but you can see what product I use in my foundation routine video. So to do for mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize in the orange tube. You could use false lashes for this, I'm not going to because I don't feel like it. So to make up for it, I'm just going to use a lot of mascara. And I'm going to do it on my top and bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Chocolate. I'm going to line my lips and partly fill them in and like I usually do. This is my favorite, you know, lip combo to wear, so. Backtrack. Because I'm a dumbass, I didn't realize that I was running out of this, so that's creepy. So instead, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Pencil in Sophisticated. And I'm just gonna line my lips and partly fill them in. I'm just gonna go over what I have already because I don't feel like taking it off. All right, now it's for lipstick, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Blake's Red. This is my favorite lipstick. It's a matte red and it looks really fancy. And then I'm just gonna set it using my e.l.f. setting spray. And that's the finished look. All right, so let's get on with the review of the Enchanted Eyes palette. Now I got this palette for Christmas. It was a gift from my mother. And this is the first MAC product that I own. And you get six eyeshadows in the palette. On the top, right here, it's called Lightfully. The second one, which is kind of like a light lilac purple, is called Pretty Jazzed. The third one, which is a light purple, is called Swing Out. The silvery one right here is called A Different Vibe. This is more of like a mauve color, and that's called Subtly Elegant. And then this last one right here is called Magic More, and it is a dark grayish purple shade but it's it's okay like this is like my first impression of the MAC eyeshadows and they blend beautifully most of them are very pigmented like Magic More is very pigmented but I found that Lightfully needed to be applied on top of a base and that's why I used the Urban Decay pencil in Cosmic today I, uh, NYX also has a jumbo pencil in like a pearly white color you could use that if you have it. You could also just use a regular jumbo eye pencil and milk. But I use the Urban Decay one because I also got that for Christmas. What the fuck? I don't really have that much to say about them. Um, they blend really well, which you would expect from a high-end makeup product. And there's a wide variety of different shades of colors in this palette and there's like so many combinations you could do with these colors. My favorite combination is the one I'm wearing now, which is Lightfully, Swing Out, and Magic More. Those are my favorite. Um, Alright, so this palette retails, if you go to a Mac store, it's about $40, but I found that the cheapest place to get this palette would be Nordstrom and you'd only be paying $29 for it and I think that's a really good price. Again, I got this for Christmas. I don't know where my mom got it, but 
I'm really happy with it. Um, I won't be reaching for this as much as I'll be reaching for my Wet n Wild eyeshadows or any of the other eyeshadows that I own simply because I feel like those have a lot more range in color than this one does and this one's kind of like, you know, it's more like faded out colors and, you know, the eye look that I came up with today is a very pretty look, but I wouldn't see myself wearing this one every day. But I definitely do like these eyeshadows, and if you're just getting into high-end makeup products, this is a must-have because there is a good selection of different eyeshadows in the palette, I will say that. But for me, at least, because I'm used to having so much color on my eyes, this is just kind of a letdown, but I do really like this palette and I would recommend it. Um, so that's what I thought of this palette right here. And if you have any opinions about this palette, I'd love to hear about them, so leave them in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I'll leave my Twitter link in the description box as well, with all the other links that I mentioned in this video. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Be bold, be beautiful, and be truly, truly, truly outrageous. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!